Okay, so we're going to take a look at the VEX. Uh, uh, it's a photo sensor. It's just a photo resistor from VEX. Uh, and this is part of the not VEX EXP, but other VEX kits, but it's common. So let's take a look. So we're going to go ahead and plug this into the three, one of the three wire extension ports over on the left. In this case, A, it goes from A down to H. And we're going to go ahead and click the, the, the check here. And oops. Notice over the home screen is check on drive and then check for run. Then we're going to arrow over to the three wire area for uh, the three wire tab. Click the check again. And notice we can go from A to H. We want to stay on A. So now we're, we're pointing, I'm pointing at the light here so that it goes down to like, you know, 65. If I get it really up close to the light, it might get down to like, you know, there we go, 30, like around 30. And then basically if we have a situation where the light is covered, it'll go up to around, you know, here it's reading about 400, 420. Uh, so there we go. It's a simple uh, photoresistor, but it's useful in many different situations, especially as a, you know, a, a non-contact switch or something like that in your code. Now, usually you'd be, ref you'd be getting these values into code and then making some uh, decision uh, in your code, but it is also nice to see as you design, uh, especially when you're positioning these, uh, uh, you'd usually have a light source over here shining onto it uh, so that you're not requiring ambient light. Uh, for your code, um, but it's, it's really useful to be able to see the value as you're, uh, as you're designing your, your system, and that's where reading it off the brain comes in. All right, uh, best of luck.